hello friends welcome to the another tutorial i think it's a sixth one with the auto layout series uh, in the last tutorial we learned about how to manage the views according to the landscape and portrait orientation so let's have a look uh, when we you know rotate the device and the view uh, will be like this and earlier it was like this with the portrait mode so we learned about how to make uh, the different views uh, you know uh, how to uh, make with the help how to use the size classes and make different views in the portrait and landscape orientation within the same storyboard uh, now of uh, moving further i want to delete these views and uh, we're going to do something very interesting and what's that uh, suppose let's take a ui label we take a ui label here and uh, we write any text like say hi or you can say hello world so this hello world is perfectly uh, aligned in the center in iPhone 4s but uh, uh, it's uh, kind of distorted in 4.7 and 5.5 so uh, what we have done we have already uh, done this in the first tutorial where we learned how to put the center horizontal alignment and also the top layout guide so the level is now somewhere here in every every device okay fine so now what happened the size of the label is uh, you know 17.0 uh, the font of the label is 17.0 in case of iPhone but in iPad we want this label to be uh, around 30 so let's say 30 or 32 okay so what what do we have to do do we have to code it for that no we don't have to code it for that you can see when you click on the label you can see a plus sign here and that plus sign signifies uh, that you can have more and more uh, configuration for the labels on the various size classes so suppose the size class of uh, the iPad is the regular width and regular height so what you're gonna do uh, see when I click on regular height and regular width another uh, cell is created here and we can uh, you know add something more uh, let's say we add uh, a 34 constraint where we increase the th uh, font of the label as 34 so what it means it means that when you run the app on iPad this label will be of font 34 and when you run on iPhone it will be of 17 so let's check it out uh, I'm gonna delete one of the iPhone view here and uh, let's take a look at the iPad view uh, just delete this let's keep uh, the iPhone 6 plus and the iPad view you can see the font size uh, which completely varies in the iPad and iPhone in iPhone it is 17 and in iPad it's like 34 uh, let's increase a bit more so that it is recognizable by you so let's make it 70 now let's run the app now I'm running the app on iPhone simulator iPhone 6 simulator so this means that the label of the size is uh, the, the sorry the font of the label is 17.0 let's see so this is very handy thing and we can have uh, you know we can manage the different fonts of the label uh, depending on the various uh, uh, the various orientation or, uh, or the iPad or iPhone differences and uh, we don't have to code for this and we can use this little thing to uh, make our requirements uh, you know fulfill see now the you can see the size the font of the label is 17.0 here but when I run this app in any iPad let's say iPad 2 what happens the size of the label will automatically become 7 let's see this so uh, even we can change the font style to whether uh, we want to have a system font or any other custom font uh, in iPad see it's hello world and it's around 70.0 now let's change the font suppose the system font is Helvetica new and we want the custom font as let's say Arial Arial for 
okay not Arial let's take a different font yeah this one didn't alternate so you can see that the font also changed along with the uh, device change when I when I chose iPad it will come in this font and when I'll switch back to iPhone it will again come back with the same system Helvetica new font with font size 17.0 so this is also you can uh, you know this is a very good uh, feature provided here and we can have some more uh, constraints like by clicking on the label and clicking on this plus button uh, the any with compact height the regular with regular height any height compact with and these are all the size classes uh, you can have a look out there and uh, according to your need you can uh, uh, just select the dimensions and provide the uh, uh, the font or the the size of the font or the type of the font you want so this is all about changing the font size in uh, uh, iPad and iPhone and uh, also the type of the font in both the phones in both the devices so uh, you can have a you can have uh, have a change in the UI label font when you rotate the device in the landscape and you can have that uh, you know that, that thing also where you you can put a constraint like any width and compact height so when you put a constraint like any width uh, and compact height it means that this will be uh, your configuration for the landscape mode so you can have uh, fun with these uh, little things and can make some great UIs uh, by using this feature so thanks for watching and the next tutorial we will start the login page and we will design from the start and we will we'll make the full uh, utilization of the auto layout thanks for watching